Okay, so we had this uh, issue with the job and it was mainly because we were running first things first an outdated image of the docker dinged and the second thing was and the runner was not using the privileged flag right so the update then was here in the config tom we just changed the flag from privileged false to privileged true and the second thing we did was come to the GitLab CI and update the image it, before it was it was using the docker dinged now it's using the 10.16 with a service this comes straight from uh, the GitLab um, page, right? Use Docker, Docker uh, in Docker, so we can see here. Uh, and I'll add this documentation to the to the readme, so you can have it later on. And after those changes, uh, we can actually see the job running again. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. just pause because it's still running okay so after a couple of minutes we can see now the job succeeded and this finishes the build of the docker image right so we started with first an error where we couldn't connect to the docker socket uh, we changed our gitlab runner to actually use the um, the socket we exposed, we define it which uh, Docker image it should use. So, Docker in Docker. Uh, we we still run the command to verify our variable, and then we simply run Docker build. And now this Docker build uh, goes from the GitLab.com to our runner in our local machine because we have the config tom here and then it executes the docker build locally and we can find here in the end the new docker image well that's it for this lecture see you in the next one bye